Overcapacity, as implied by the term itself, refers to an excessive capacity for production or services in relation to demand. This economic phenomenon is not uncommon, as the balance between supply and demand fluctuates over time, leading to periods of what is often termed as overcapacity. In the context of China, where the Made in China label is ubiquitous across various sectors, including clothing, shoes, and even high-end manufacturing like Apple products, the country has long been recognized as a powerhouse in manufacturing. However, some Western media outlets continue to raise concerns about China's alleged overcapacity in the new energy sector, including NEVs, solar panels, and lithium batteries. To gain a deeper understanding of the situation, I consulted several experts in the new energy sector. The new three are completely different from other industries. Firstly, the market growth of the new three is rapidly expanding. The domestic market growth is around 150 percent, and the global growth is close to 70 percent. I think the term overcapacity is a false proposition, because from both economic and industry development perspectives, it is necessary to maintain a state of overcapacity. Only through overcapacity, can industrial competition be triggered, technological progress be promoted, monopolies eliminated, and prices lowered. In the photovoltaic industry, it takes three to five years for a large technological iteration and one to two years for a small technological iteration, and the former production capacity will be eliminated. When calculating current production capacity, we actually include all production capacity. According to goals set by the International Renewable Energy Agency, 2023 set a new benchmark in renewable power deployment, which needs to be tripled. Therefore, the supply of new energy products is actually far from enough. COP28 has made an important commitment to triple the number of renewable energy sources by 2030, which means that the world's new photovoltaic installations need to exceed 550 gigawatts per year, while the global new installations in 2023 are 390 gigawatts. Currently, the EV market is still predicted to more than double over the next four years from below $400 billion yearly sales now to almost $1 trillion. The key factor that promotes the Chinese new EV industry development is the full competition. And at present, the global NEVs market is developing rapidly. According to Sigma Intel's data, the global new energy vehicle shipment in 2023 uh, was about 14.5 million units, of which the Chinese OEMs occupy six out of the top 10 OEMs, uh, like the BYD, SAIC, Geely Mobile, Automobile, and other Chinese companies accounting for about 66 of the total shipment volume. China is still Apple's major manufacturing site for its mobile phones. There has been no mention of overcapacity in relation to iPhone production and sales. In recent years, Apple have produced about 200 million units mobile phones annually in China. And according to Sigma Intel's data, of which about 48 million units were sold in the Chinese mainland market mm -hmm. in 2023, mm -hmm. and about 150 million units has been exported. This narrative of so-called overcapacity, perpetuated by the U.S. and EU governments, is often seen as a strategic tactic to compete with their Chinese counterparts, but in a less dignified manner.